Is it me or does David Ortiz look just like the mom on Good Times? Oh, Peter, that's racist. Hey, guys, guess who's got the keys to a speedboat just sitting down at the station? How'd you get a speedboat? Well, it's a funny story. Well, all right, who's up for water skiing? Hell yeah! All right! Yeah, let's do it! Oh, that sounds amazing. I love boats. Water skiing! All right! Water sitting! You gotta cut to the right. No, no, it's counterintuitive. You gotta cut left. I know how to drive. I feel like everyone watching knows I'm incapable of pleasing my wife sexually. Now cut the wheel! Cut the wheel! No, the other way! Ah, hell, we're gonna be on the internet. You know what? Screw it. Let's boat! Oh, come on. What's the worst that could happen? I can get anyone to do that to him. Oh my god, Quagmire lost his penis! Doc, give it to us straight. What's going on with our friend? Well, Mr. Quagmire, you've had quite the nasty shark attack. Luckily, you'll be okay. But you're going to have to learn to live without a penis. Liev Schreiber gets a big kick out of it. Doc, do you know who you're talking to? That penis was my whole life! He's clearly not using it. Stop looking at us! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that does. What you can do? You can devote your life to Christ. Or become a eunuch. Cleveland, why don't you sit this one out? So you can discover all the other exciting things on the internet besides porn. Not that, necessarily, but... Uh... You got your Robin. Wow, you really know your stuff, Joe. Your swallow. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do, guys, but this is a disaster. You don't understand what that penis meant to me. We did everything together. Absolutely everything. The sensual night ahead. We now return to HGTV's Couples Looking for a House Where the Woman Doesn't Know the Guy's Gay. Yeah, she teaches here at the high school, and I work in town as a choreographer and florist. And we'll probably need a nursery. Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, Peter, I just came by to thank you for giving me the kick in the pants I needed to stop feeling sorry for myself and embrace my new life. Okay, see you there. Damn it! Why did I even open the door? Ah! Getting excited. Now I gotta go to this thing. Ah, bite me! Laughing already. I'm so glad Quagmire's back on his feet again. God, this is gonna be torture. <sighs> Break a leg. I'm Glenn, and this is Edgar. What a great crowd, huh, Edgar? This is gonna be a fun night. You call this fun? You're talking to a wooden doll to make up for the fact that you can't have sex anymore. Oh, come on, Edgar. I, I got a lot to live for, according to everybody. I'm not gonna kill myself. Well then, maybe I can help. Quagmire, no! Quagmire, have you lost your mind? I'm holding this gun until you start thinking straight. Use it on yourself, Joe. There's more than one bullet in here, Joe. Peter, you could get free tacos with me. It worked! Why the hell would you want to kill yourself? Yeah, who ever heard of a depressed ventriloquist? You want to know why? Because I can't do this anymore. Quagmire is not impossible. You want impossible? Try eating local pizza with a guy from New York. Hey, Dad. I'm so sorry, Glenn. Stop staring, Cleveland. I can support his lifestyle and still think it's weird. You had yours surgically removed in a hospital. I had mine bitten off by a shark. I'm not allowed to go into the ocean anymore. The doctor says I can't get seawater in it. Your gift is inside. Is that your 
Yes, Glenn. It's my penis. I want you to have it. I... I can't take your penis, Dad. Please take it. If you don't, I'm just going to give it to Paul Ryan. Okay, has everyone washed their hands? Me neither, but going forward, let's try. I'm so nervous for Quagmire. I know, but it's nice that they served hot dogs for the surgery. Nurse, you put it on there. I'm not gay. The operation was a success. Congratulations, Quagmire. Thanks, guys. I love you, son. I love you, too. So, how you feeling? I'm actually in extreme pain, Doc. It's like knives are stabbing into my crotch. Don't worry, that'll go away once you fill your prescription at Goldman's Pharmacy. In fact, I think Family Guy should be more of a dramedy. What's a dramedy? Well, for one thing, the scenes don't have to end with jokes. So, Quagmire, how's the new rod holding up? Yeah, you know, good, pretty good. I've been having a lot of sex. The size of a 50-cent piece and a dime kissing each other. Yikes, frightening. Yeah, some gals find it off-putting, but the girls that stay are just great. Well, I'm happy for you, Quagmire. Don't be. Anyway, I gotta take a leak. What's that noise? That's the sound of peeing out your daddy's wiener. God? Yes. I can't believe I'm stuck in an elevator with God. Although I guess you are everywhere and in all places. You know, his real name is Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, I know. We have Us Weekly on Earth, too. Wait. Why are you here? Shouldn't you be up in heaven? There was an issue. A, a few angels came forward. I don't remember things exactly as they do, but I respect their experience. I always dreamed of being stuck in an elevator with Tom Brady. That makes two of us. Can I ask you my Tom Brady questions? I wouldn't deign to speak for Tom Brady. Understood. Understood. Sometimes I pull him out just so they think everything is going to be okay, but then I put him right back in. Good. Good. That makes me happy. What are you looking for? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking for the gay guy who can answer that one. Some people say we're just a computer simulation run by a higher species. All right, can you name every SNL actor alphabetically? Alphabetically by last name? Yes. And no featured players? Yeah, okay. Fred Armisen, Dan Aykroyd, and Sashir Zamata. Wow! Now do kids in the hall. That was five guys, Peter. Name them. I can't. Let me finish. You were Henry, the eighth guy to have sex with Rock Hudson at one of his pool parties. Aw. Are you real? Do you think I'm real, Peter? I like to believe there's something bigger than me out there keeping a watch out. Different people think different things. I'm kind of like a nanny cam. God and love are very similar concepts. They come from the same place. Tatooine? <laughs> I always forget you're such a Star Wars guy. <gasps> What's a mezzanine? It's like a loge. What's a loge? Oh, hey, what's with all the questions? Yeah, you don't know either. Since you're now a ghost, would you like to do pottery while straddling present day to me more? Pass. Yeah, not getting a lot of takers for that one. Am I... am I really dead? Well, if you weren't dead, would you feel nothing when I do this? Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Uh, you know what, that's right, it takes a day. My, my bad, sorry. I can't be dead! I have a family who needs me! Actually, Peter, from what I've seen, I think your family would be better off without you. Why hast thou forsaken me? You know what? I did him a favor. Okay, well, there's a lot to unpack there, but come on, God, you gotta give me another chance. You know what? You're on. I'll give you one day to prove to me that your family is better off with you alive. I'll return you to your life before you were in a coma. Thanks, God. I know I can do it. Vodka. Okay, kids, I know how you always wanted kittens, so guess what I brought home? This very pregnant, about-to-burst, distended nipple street cat. <coughs> Tris, she doesn't like that, but I understand the instinct. Now, we all need to do our part to help with the birth. Meg, boil some water. Brian? Well, look at us, out for a fun family dinner. If anyone's watching, they'd say, look at that family. Look how happy they are. Well, the kids do love fun ruckers. That's how I like them. That's not a burger, that's just a meat sandwich. At least Meg went wild and got a beige burger. No, I got chicken. What? Here? This is fun ruck. What the hell are you doing? I'm cutting it. It's easier to eat. It's not supposed to be easy to eat. Half of it is supposed to fall onto your plate when you squeeze it, and the rest goes onto your shirt. Peter, people are staring. Yeah, they're saying, look at the creative guy. Look at King Fuddrucker over there. Usually, you put a burger on a tray. This guy's putting a tray on a 
burger. That's front rockers. Peter, you've opened the trunk. People are pulling things out of our car. Good. That's also fud ruckus. Those poor kids, those poor babies. Hey, Chris, what do you got there? A plain burger. Looks good. You can do this, Peter. You love your family. You can do this, Peter. You love your family. Dad, can you crack your window a little bit? I hate you all so much! Uh-oh. Ah! I see that. The bunny rabbit family you just ran over? Yeah, we all saw that, Peter. If anything were to happen to me, Lois, I'll miss you more than life. The cereal. But not the board game, which I quite enjoy. And Stewie, it kills me that I'll never see you become a man. Loving Twink. Is anyone gonna stop him? What about me? You're a dog. Peter, what's going on? Why are you saying these things? Sorry, why don't you guys go inside? I'm going to stay out here and listen to Nina Blackwood slowly die of throat cancer on the radio. I'm supposed to get her a week from Thursday, but I may be moving that up. I suppose you know why I'm here. Yeah, I guess so. My family would be better off without me. I'm a terrible husband and a terrible father. I should never have questioned you. You were right about everything. Say that again. You were right about everything. That's all I needed to hear. So, I'm not going to die? Nope, not for another four years. Thank you, God. Bless you, my child. Hey, Chris, you like pictures of naked children because you're gross and weird. Ah, he screwed it up. Well, sorry about Fuddruckers. It won't happen again. Because nothing means more to me than my family. Well, looks like quitting time. Good night, Kirk Cameron. See you tomorrow, Gene Rayburn. See you when the sun rises, James Bro. Mamma mia!